Holy shit guys, it's time to start the Iron Man in old school RuneScape. Four years ago, I started Mr. Iron Bar to enjoy the self-sufficient playstyle on RuneScape and perhaps turn the account into something I was proud of. Not thinking how far I would progress the account, I created one goal after another and played for a very long time. Since then, I have completed many insane accomplishments. From completing God Wars to creating a Spirit Shield, from getting the Infernal Cape to completing the Chambers of Xerix, from completing Theater Blood to getting a Max Cape, many goals have come and gone. For the most part, I was satisfied with where Mr. Iron Bar was at. So I decided to retire the account until new worthy goals could be set. However, Elf City is here now, and with it, new challenges and goals. It is time to return to my roots and continue the progress of Mr. Iron Bar. Oh yeah, baby. New loading screen. Let's try to do this quest. Yo, did I just see someone wearing an RD knight? Cool. Alright, well, I already kind of know what to expect. Looks like there's going to be some infiltrating going on for this quest. Something else. This is where we start. Alright, use tavern to play body. Nice. I always wanted to become an RD knight. Now people can pickpocket off of me. I bet you these ones count for the Elf Slayer tasks. Let's go do this. Uncover some secrets in the Grand Library. Alright, I'm guessing there's gonna be some light puzzles. So, yeah. Best of luck. Oh my goodness, yep, light puzzles. My favorite. Yo, we got it! Okay, alright, so there was one combination that I, I guess I didn't think about, huh? Just four more goddamn puzzles to do. So, yeah. Let's go and finish up these uh, last four. Wish me luck and hopefully I keep my sanity. Ooh, no, are you kidding me, dog? Imagine being 99 Jody and being the lightest mother trucker in the world and still failing it. Classic. Okay, I just gotta change it blue. So let me look at the color wheel. I just gotta add the blue crystal and that should change it. Yes! Oh my god. Yay, we did it. Just gotta do one more. Oh my god. Those book a Jody course agility shortcuts they're so hard to find dude because i should have it now there we go finally finished the last one gg that was a struggle it was just a matter of observation that i didn't see there was a freaking pillar light over there i was only messing with this one but little did i know i could actually mess with both of them but we got it though we're done I think that's probably the hardest part of this quest, seriously. Light puzzles and elf city, elf quests, they definitely go hand in hand. Alright, so I am out of food. And that means I have to get out of here. For real, that was, uh, that definitely didn't work out too well. Melee and range definitely just didn't hit too well at all. Holy shit, dude, I just don't even miss. God damn. Alright, okay, Max Mage is OP, or near Max Mage is OP as hell. Not bad, I mean, I feel like this this part certainly wasn't the hardest part. Yeah, the light puzzle, by a long shot. Oh man, that shit was the hardest. But, a nice fight nonetheless. Felt like a solid, you know, thematic ending to the quest. Very, uh, pleased with this fight overall. Yes, yes, yes. Give me that quest complete. Four quest points, access to Drift Dennis. Oh yeah, dude. Awesome. So now to have access to Priv Dennis, there is two major pieces of content where I would like to make most of my new goals on. So we have the Gauntlet, which is a survival PVM minigame where you can get yourself the Saldor Hilt, which uh, turns into a new weapon called the Blade of Saldor. It is best in slash slash weapon behind the scythe. 
generally speaking it also can give you the crystal armor sheets which can make the crystal armor which is a range type of armor similar to dehyde except it also has some prayer bonus and also we have another piece of content called the Sokano that is the skilling minigame kind of like Winter Todd. Sokano can upgrade your dragon pickaxe and your dragon axe into the crystal versions which makes their respective skilling activities a little bit more efficient and it will drop the crystal tool seeds. Both of the minigames have pets as well so I may also decide to add them to my pet hunting list as well. And there are a few other smaller uh, additional goals that I'll probably be doing on top of them. Alright, let's go to the gauntlet. It's on the northeast section of the city. We're gonna go in with nothing because that's what we do. We have to uh, be self-sufficient in this dungeon and fight the boss with whatever we can get inside the dungeon, so. Three hits. Oh, I'm gonna fail this. Oh, god damn it, bro. Alright, I failed it. Haha. <laughs> Jeez, first try, I stink. Wait, did I get stuff for failing too? 252 Earth Runes, oh yeah. There we go, killed it. Ah, uh, third try, third try. Alright, so, we're, we're getting there, you know, getting the preparations, it's pretty much the same strat all the time. Always go for like the, the correct amount of resources, go for the right amount of food. The right amount of uh, weapon upgrades and armor upgrades and all that. Got a lot of uh, sciencing to do. Just kill it, man. Come on, bro. Thank you. That was just rough here. Ooh, nice. What? Nine minute challenge duration? Yo, that's a PB and a half that I'm taking. Appreciate that. Cool. Oh, it does work. Okay, so... Alright, I think that's what you're saying. Is that, right? Cool, cool. Not sure if they uh, if it's always been like this, but... I guess all of the uh, demi-bosses can technically give you... The superior versions of any of the weapons. If you've already got the previous one. The base one. So I got the spike from the bear, and then I killed the bear again, I got the bow. So that's pretty good. That worked out. Die, you scrub. That was... A lot better than the normal. 20 KC now. Pretty good. Crystal shard, nature runes. Okay, I'll take it. I don't even know how many kills I've done. 24? I think this is a uh, loot from 10 of these now. Yeah. What are we looking like? 1 mil? Yeah, it's like 100k in a, a, a round. Holy crap. Let me look at my loot from a. Uh, Long ass day of just doing goddamn uh, the gauntlet. 2.5 mil, man. That's an honest living right there, dude. Seven hours of honest living right here. Dude, holy shit. Okay, this better work. Oh my god. Oh, I died. Oh, I got so unlucky, dude. Fucking got. Ah, oh, that's so unlucky. For the more experienced PVMers, you might be asking. Is the corrupt AK heart mode gauntlet worth doing? When I first did one on day one, I didn't think it was worth doing, but looking back, I can definitely see this being consistent with the right strategies involving tier 2 armor set and tier 3 weapons. Now, I haven't done a bunch myself yet, so I'll hold off on giving my pins on it fully until I start working on a lot of the corrupt mode, because I definitely plan on doing so maybe in the next video. Alright, I might as well wear this cape and show it off real quick before, uh, you know, we put it in the good old house. But, uh, yeah, it's got the boss's kind of face in there. You know, we got, like, these little... I look like an evil dude with this, like, Count Dracula shiz right here. But, uh, yeah, I don't really got the bank space for that. But we're gonna put it in the cape rag. They've already put one in there. So, yeah, we'll just eternal slumber this. Come on. Just kill it, bruh. Alright, that was just pretty bad RNG. Couldn't hit. 50kc, though. Really bad RNG sometimes. Seriously. So many zeros. Oh, nice. Personal best. 744. Hmm. Took too much damage. Oh, what? I just got a freaking Elite Kuskro, eh? 
first master clue on here in a long time. Here we go. Oh man, lava kinship. Man, I got this kill down to a science there. I only messed up my prayer flicking like maybe once. Oh, what? I just got another elite clue scroll. Holy shit. Maybe they learn from rates 1 and 2 that they shouldn't make elite clue scrolls like 1 in a thousand or something like they did before. Wait, that's bad, man. Damn, this is an extra long. <gasps> no! The stupid staff clue. No, it already happened. Ah, that's rough, dude. Seriously, I didn't expect to get this new clue so fast. Come on, man. Viral fight a staff, dude. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know if I want to... I don't even know if I want to keep this, to be honest. Because, dude, that shit is going to take forever to get the staff, dude. Holy shit. Okay. Alright, I'm going to think about this tonight. Whether or not I want to slay Moss Giants for the rest of my days. Ooh, new personal best. Seven minutes? I'll take that. Sub two minute boss fight as well, of course. Tier three, both weapons. Here we go. Number 60 of the gauntlet. Some blood runes and some rune play buddies. Okay. No sign of any uniques. Thought I died there for a second. This is why I play it safe though. I ate up a bit because uh, if I didn't eat up there, I would have died. Oh, I got something. What is that? Oh, yo, crystal armor seed. Let's go. Yay, two days in. I got my first piece of the crystal armor seed. Let's get it. Nice, 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 nice. Very nice. So apparently I need six of these because I need one for the helmet, two for the legs, and three for the body. So, five more to go. Five more to go. And then obviously we have the hilt as well, so... That's also making progress on the first, on the second day. So this is it, huh? This is how I make it, huh? Crystal armor seed, and to make the helmet, I need 50. So, let's do it. Yay, crystal helmet! This will consume your armor seed as well as your crystal seed. Preparing the helmet will not give you any crystal shards back, okay? Alright, let's do it. Nice. I think out of individual pieces, the helmet is the best bang for the, for the buck. With the help of the crystal bow, you sing a beautiful song and shape the crystals. Mmm, awesome. Yo, look at the stats on this. Two prayer bonus, pretty cool. Damn, 26 magic. Uh, 26 magic defense. I don't think any helmet has, yeah, has anything higher than this, so... That's pretty cool, man. Not sure why I'd be tanking with this, but that's cool. That's cool. Eight range bonus as well, so you know it's not too shabby as range armor, not too shabby at all. So the new Elf City update has been really enjoyable thus far, so I cannot wait to deliver more videos with these new goals that we've set on Mr. Iron Bar. So I will be a hundred percent finishing all of the Elf City goals before I decided, you know, go to the Bahamas again with Mr. Iron Bar. So don't worry, got lots more videos for that. And did you know? I do have that progress spreadsheet showing you all of my goals that I would ultimately like to complete on Mr. Iron Bar. We got stuff like Dragon Armor, we got stuff like the Clue Scroll Accessory Kits, we got stuff like Pet Hunting, uh, we got like Spectral from Corp. There's so many things that are side goals that I would like to complete one day. So I'll be doing a lot of those as well on top of the Elf City goals. So yeah man lots to do lots to do man i cannot wait to bring you guys another video for mr iron bar so for my most dedicated viewers i have a question for you guys so in the next video i want to spend a few minutes to quickly summarize how to do the gauntlet because i think a lot of people you know probably want to find a semi or pretty decently efficient way to go about doing the gauntlet consistently at a good time and not fail a lot so if you're interested in that, you can uh, let me know by liking the video or just comment specifically what you're looking for in the demonstration, although I pretty much have a good idea. And also for the next two videos, I actually will have a sponsor, I believe. And this could potentially be super beneficial for me and the viewers as well, because it might be able to allow me to make additional RuneScape content on top of you know the weekly YouTube releases. 
So I will expand on that in the next video. So look forward to that for those of you guys that want to watch more RuneScape content from me. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys very soon with another prize video on Mr. Iron Bar in a few days. Take care and bye-bye.